This is Dr. Liz Geriatrics. 15% of the American population, or 46 million people, live in rural areas. Um, and folks who are over 65, uh, there's 20% of the population that live in rural areas. Folks who are in the rural areas tend to be older. Um, they often are poor um, and don't have as much education. There are not as many opportunities to have uh, different medication, have uh, healthy food. And so they have a higher death rate from heart disease, cancer, accidents, emphysema, and stroke. Um, and with a less uh, active lifestyle in their later years, um, they are more likely to have uh, obesity, diabetes, and hypertension. Uh, at the same time, uh, there are fewer physicians. There's only like five for 10,000, five primary care doctors for 10,000 residents. Um, and some places don't have any doctors. They're lucky to have a nurse practitioner. Um, if there's an emergency, you know, it can be difficult to, to get to the hospital. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. And 170 rural hospitals have cl closed since uh 2005, many of them had been taken over by for-profit chains where there was the hope that they would get more money and there would be more resources, and then they closed them down. So uh, it's, it's a, a tough time. However, we need to note that Medicaid expansion um, has helped maintain services in the areas of states uh, that have um, approved the expansion. Give the next video a watch and don't forget to click like and subscribe.